So, race morning, it's 1.32, been up since one, got kitted up. Came down for breakfast, I think I fell asleep around 10 o'clock, so I've managed to have about four hours sleep tops. Woke up 15 minutes before my alarm, out of a dream. Not the greatest night's sleep. To be honest, this feels sort of odd. Like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be awake or asleep. Having some eggs for breakfast. I'm kind of just treating it like it's a normal day, normal breakfast, just starting it earlier. But it does feel strange. I feel a bit uh, discombobulated, out of sorts, not really sure, but excited, nervous. Just trying to go through the last bits before we get on the bus. We've got a couple of hours bus ride to the start in Peter's Maritzburg for in downtown Durban. All the usual things, getting dressed in a dark hotel room, trying not to wake up the family or also in there and just remembering all, do all your kind of vitals. It does feel a little bit like a morning on the Danube, if I'm really honest. I'm just using that, going through exactly the same processes now. I've got those processes down. And uh, yeah, just with a little bit of difference thrown in, a little bit of an earlier start, but feeling nervous, excited, not sure what to expect, eager to get going. A little bit tired, a little bit frazzled, and uh, yeah, hopeful. Just hopeful to have a happy day. So anyway, I better crack on because otherwise I'm going to miss the bus. Morning, everyone. Hey. Is everyone awake? Anyone ready for a little run today? It's terror talking. Yeah. You're ready. Yes, here's the man. This is. You will do it. You will too. I've no doubt. I'm going to follow you. I'll be holding on to you at the end. So we've made it to the start. Everybody's still on the bus hanging here. One of the benefits of Cubbit with Marathon Tools is you can stay on the bus late. Everyone else is out, has to make their way down to the start. And New York or Boston style, you'd be out in the cold. It's not too cold, but um, it means you've got access to a toilet and whatnot. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bag of nervous energy here. Um, down here, people kind of huddling around fires. People and singing and uh, yeah, it's about four o'clock, so we're going to make our way down to the start. Just an hour, just want to get going. It's like, yeah, a couple of hours, just need to start. But we're almost there. So we're off the bus, we're making our way into the start pen. It's already pretty crazy. Back there was a group of people singing and dancing, but it's a bit of an onslaught, but yeah. Nearly, nearly ready to go. I keep saying, every time I do one of these, I'm like, it's go time. It's, it's a whole 50 minute video of saying it's go time. You got an oh, hour, exactly. Yeah. Got one hour to go. Anybody ready to run?
It's customary to drop a flower, tip your hat, say good morning after, and that means you have a good second half of the race. I've done all of those things, so second half of the race is absolutely guaranteed nail bottom No problem at all. <laughs> There's a big wall of noise here. Look, it's amazing. And I needed it, I needed that right there. <laughs> and this is coming up to the halfway point, so we're halfway in the distance. Probably about a quarter of the way in the mental battle. Uh, incredible so far. I mean, look at this. This is something else. So we're now around 37 k's to go. We're coming down one of the big long descents and uh, pretty much every piece of advice I was given before I came into this run from every one was about everything the whole run was don't get overexcited so here I am trying not to get overexcited about moving downhill and saving a bit of the legs for the last stretch hoping that's going to pay off but um yeah so far so good the plan was to run this thing and keep a smile on the face for it it's still there right now We'll see in another 20 k's. So, so I think we're about a park run left. Ah, oh, thirsty, energy down. Oh, it's hard, man. It's a war zone now. And I've got, I don't know how long to finish. Let's get the build road, it's going to be quite tight. Very much looking forward to getting this done now. So then after just under nine hours of relentless hills, we finally made it into Durban and we're bringing it home. I'm on the bus with these lovely people who are all going to achieve the sub nine, which I now have absolutely massive respect for. I'm going to need new legs tomorrow. What a beautiful beast of a race. Absolutely magic and painful and glorious. Yes.
Simon. And you are here to the boys. Comrades, it's done. My first ever Comrades. That race number will now have a one on it if I decide to come back. Got one of these little medals. Tiny little Bill Rowan. It's the smallest medal, but maybe the hardest earned. What a race. I, the only way I can describe it is that it was like Beauty and the Beast. There's so much magic out there on the course. The people, the crowds, the support, the sunrise, the, the route astonishingly brutal though it's a beastly race that you just want the downhills and the uphills to end it's relentless you're praying for a one kilometer flat it never comes you basically get one little bit as you come back into the stadium and it was hard it was really hard but magic at the same time the food the support the crowds the cheering the singing like hairs on the back of your neck at all times every time i needed something Someone seemed to pop up alongside me and say something, partly because they see the, they see you've got no medals and they know that you're a first timer. So they give you support and help. They know you're international and uh, it makes a big difference. So thank you very much to everyone out there who came and spoke to me, gave me support. Watchers of the channel who came up and said hello. You're all fantastic people. You helped me get round. And I, I couldn't be prouder of this medal, of all the things that I've done. And so yeah, 90 miles over and out. Yeah. <laughs>